Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Isabel and welcome to Is a Beauty. Today I'm going to show you a new curling iron that I got from TJ Maxx. I just got rid of three hot tools that were not working for me anymore and I really wanted to get a new curling iron because I do like curly hair. So the other day I went and I got a ton of really cool things and one of them was this. This is an off-brand curling iron. It was on sale and I thought, let's give it a try for the price. It is a one and a quarter inch ceramic curling iron. This is the curling wand. Curling wand. It does have a clamp that is a little aggressive and a little stand so you can rest it on your table. It says to hold for two to five seconds. That's very nice that they tell you how to curl your hair, but I think I know. I'm not a professional or anything. Okay, so I'm excited to try something new. Oh my gosh, this is so aggressive. I don't know how I'm gonna like this. Okay, so let me plug this in and get it warmed up and then we can come back and prep our hair. Okay, so this is kind of day one, day two hair. This is what my hair looks like when I don't use product and I brush it out from it being wet. It's very poofy and frizzy. Like it doesn't have a cute look on its own. I have to use products in my hair for it to look cute, I think. I'm coming to find out because I don't know, it just doesn't like fall nicely. My heat protectant that I'm gonna use today is an oldie, but I think it's a goodie. <laughs> this is the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer. It protects your heat. It is a leave-in spray and works with heat appliances. So in order for this product to work, you need to apply heat to your hair. It protects against heat damage up to 450. This curling iron is already hot. It only has one temp and it's 360. Now that the heat protectant is in my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and section it off. I'm gonna do three sections because I don't really have a ton of hair. I'm just gonna work my way up. I'm gonna make my first section down at the bottom. Oh yeah, that's hot. Wow, that thing goes out so wide. This actually gets pretty hot. Oh, I've missed having a curling iron that does this. My other ones do not work like they used to. I've had all the same heat tools for at least seven to 10 years. So uh, I haven't really gotten anything new and exciting. So um, hopefully this works out well. It was like $12. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and curl the rest of my hair. I'll like speed through all of this and I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. All right, so this is what my hair looks like after I just curled every single piece with the curling iron. And it looks okay. 
it looks fine. A lot of it has fallen out. I went through and recurled some pieces afterwards. Don't get me wrong, it does look nice. It kind of looks like I just got a blowout and it's falling out, kind of. Also keep in mind, I do not have any hairsprays or style holding products in my hair. I just have the heat protectant and I just wanted to see what the curling iron could do for me. I think it was okay. I don't really know if I love it and I don't really know if I wanna keep it to be honest with you. The clamp wasn't very user friendly. It's up very, very high. I had a hard time trying to reach for it and grab it. Like it would be nice if it was at a comfortable level but it is up so high. And then when you pull down on it, it's super, super hot. They do recommend you use a glove but they didn't give you one you know and then when you pull it down it's so wide and so flexible like it gets so close to your face you feel like you're gonna burn your skin off so that's really hard this gets your hair caught all up in there and this is way too hot to touch and like move down on its own I definitely burned myself while I was trying to push it down in between uses and then trying to push it up so I could let it sit down in between sections of hair so that's just something to keep in mind I think when you're looking for a curling iron see it's just not a I don't know I, I this is not very user-friendly and I'm not a fan and I think I'm going to return this however my hair does look pretty nice for not having any other products and not prepping my hair I'm sure I could have gotten this a lot smoother by blow drying my hair as smooth as possible beforehand that way it's already kind of sleek and tamed and then going in with the curling iron I'm sure that would have worked out a lot better but I just wanted to give its like raw use on your hair because sometimes you don't got time for both you know it's cute I think I'm still gonna be on the hunt for a better curling wand or curling iron but I do like the size I do like the barrel size of that um, that was really nice that is my first impressions review of that GEM curling iron it stands for glamour energy and magic I don't know about all that <laughs> I think we're going right back to TJ Maxx with that. So right now I'm going to film my TJ Maxx haul and in there I will mention that I have used this curling iron to curl my hair in case you want to see it in use. I think my TJ Maxx haul will go up before I post this review. If you're watching this you will have already saw my haul and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed that haul. So go check out some of their cool new things that they have and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.